Not too cold? No, I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't say it smells great. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Jack from Teacher Geek. We're under an overpass, and we're gonna build a boat. To build your boat, you're gonna need some stuff, starting with what came in your kit. Three connector strips, two perpendicular blocks, four 25 millimeter or one inch number 10 screws, four number 10 nuts, 10 10 centimeter or four inch project sticks, one double AA battery holder with leads and a switch, one small one and a half to three volt motor, one small one and a half to three volt motor mount, one mini hub cover, it has to be the red one, one mini hub base, which also must be red, one mini hub screw, four zip ties, one 30 centimeter or 12 inch dowel, two 15 centimeter or six inch dowels, three 10 centimeter or four inch dowels, two seven and a half centimeter or three inch dowels, and a piece of chipboard, which is 22 centimeters by five centimeters or eight and a half by two inches. Now, if you're using a 10 pack or a maker cart, you're going to have to cut your dowels. So just measure and cut them to length with a multi cutter. You're also going to need to supply a few things. Two AA batteries, a pair of scissors, a Phillips head screwdriver, some tape, and some recycling bin materials. You're going to use these to make the hull of your boat. So you want to find stuff that floats and doesn't disintegrate in water. Things like pool noodles, plastic bottles or containers, more plastic containers, really whatever you can find there. And because your boat's propeller is going to spin very fast, you're going to need a stylish pair of safety glasses. As you can see, my eyes are uninjured. I wish I could say the same about my dignity. We don't need these quite yet, and it's fogging up. We're going to start by building the frame for our propeller with one perpendicular block and two seven and a half or three inch dowels. These are the shortest dowels in the kit. You're going to push your dowels through the two holes that are next to each other in the block so that the block is in the middle of the dowels. Next, I need two half connector strips. If you have multi-cutters, that works great. If you don't, you can snap it instead. Now I'm going to wiggle the ends of these dowels into the middle of the strips. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you do want it to be symmetrical. There we go. To finish my frame, I'm going to wiggle a 10 centimeter or four inch dowel into the one remaining hole of my perpendicular block. This hole's tricky, so I like to put the block on the table and wiggle the dowel in. There we go, our frame is all set. Time to add the motor. Next, I'm going to add another perpendicular block to the top of the dowel, like so. Then I'm going to push my motor into my motor mount. Notice that the terminals of the motor are on the opposite side of the mount from the dowel hole. Now using a screw, I'm going to connect my motor mount to the perpendicular block. The screw is going to go through and connect them like this. Once it's on there pretty tight, I'm going to take one of my number 10 nuts and spin that onto the back of the screw to help hold it in place. You can hold the nut and use your screwdriver to tighten it some more. And if you have pliers, those work even better for holding the nut. Now that your motor is mounted, we're ready to build the propeller. Start by cutting three pieces of chipboard that are about six centimeters by three centimeters or two inches by one inch. Next, you wanna tape each of your blades to a project stick so that the extra is all on one side. My blades are all set. Oh, there's an optional step. My blades are not all set. There's an optional step I forgot. There's a lot of project stick left on this. 
If you have a pair of multi cutters, you can cut it shorter. Make sure you still leave some of the project stick though because you're going to need it to attach to the hub. I'm going to leave mine full length. So we're going to mount these in the hub, but first we got to put the hub together. Start by taking your mini hub cover and sliding it onto your mini hub base, like so. Then add the mini hub screw in the middle. You're going to need your screwdriver to tighten that down. Now you don't have to go too tight because we need to slide these in. So I'm actually going to have to loosen this up just a tad, maybe a bigger tad, maybe a tad more. So it has to be just loose enough to slide the project stick into the holes. We have three sticks, so we're going to do every other hole. Before you tighten it down, angle your blades a bit. The angle is what's going to create wind when these spin. Done. Now we can push our hub with propellers onto the shaft of our motor. Make sure it can spin freely. Mine's on a little tight, so I'll back it off a tad. Tad is the word of the day. We're going to need some batteries to power a motor, so I'm going to attach my battery holder to my base next. Push a zip tie through the hole in your battery holder, and then run it through a hole of your base. And then tighten the zip tie down. Do the same thing on the other side. and cut off the excess with some scissors. Now insert the bare metal of the wires through those terminals of your motor and bend it over. You want to make sure that the metal core of your wire is touching the metal terminals. That's what's going to allow electricity to power your motor. Let's add the batteries and power up. All right, let's power it up. Jack, wait, no. What? You're getting your eye protection. I'm saying that because I am a good producer, not because we just shot a bunch of stuff where you didn't have eye protection on. So what can happen is if your propeller blades aren't in the hub tight enough, they'll fly out. So you want to make sure you have eye safety. It's propeller proof. It's noodle proof. Highly recommend it. Oh no, my propeller's hitting my battery holder. Well, I don't really want to move this, but I can slide my propeller forward a bit so it clears the battery holder. Building your boat is all about modifying the design and finding what works best. Oh, it's like 88 degrees in here. Your propeller should work like a fan. That's what's going to propel your boat. So make sure you can feel a good breeze off of it. If not, you may need to adjust the angle on your blades. Now that our propulsion is all set, we're going to add a hull to our boat. I know we showed this clear office tape in the beginning of the video, but it helps to have something stronger for this. Movie magic. Much better. There are tons of ways you can make a boat hull. I'll start by showing you one with a pool noodle. Cut it down the middle first. This totally wasn't pre-cut. Okay. Not this again. You may have to use a longer dowel to keep your propeller away from your hull. It's the noodle boat. Don't have noodles? Try bottles. It's the bottle boat. You don't have bottles either? 
Try a plastic container. Not only can you change your boat's hull design, but you can also change the propeller. Big blades, small blades, lots of blades, just a couple blades, blades made out of coffee cans, blades made out of water bottles, blades using duct tape. You can even make a propeller to go under the water. Your underwater propeller blades will need to be smaller than ones that use for air because the water is harder to push. Also, make sure to make them out of a waterproof material and not to keep your motor underwater for too long as it could damage it. You can also make a water wheel. There are tons of different ways to build your boat. What'll yours look like? Until next time, happy making.